cozy corner to you guys. This is my largest and favorite cozy corner that I decorate through the seasons, you guys. And as you can see, I'm still working on plugging in Easter. I simply added a spray. This is a spray that I had on a lantern centerpiece, you guys. And actually this lantern centerpiece sat right here. And if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it here so you can see it. And I just simply took the bow that I used for it and just put my blue and white bow back on. And I added in some of the egg garland and I added in the same spray right on top of the pipberry and greenery garland. You can still see it's still there. I did wrap in some white pastel, white corded pastel Easter lights, and I added in some more of the eggs up there. I just have parts and pieces of these eggs left over, you guys. So I really, I just tied, tie wrapped two together there, and I just wrapped it out and spread, spread it out as best as I could there, and wrapped the white corded pastel lights up in to that wreath too. Now I understand that you can see the white corded, the white cord on the lights and I'm doing my very best to try to hide it, but you can still see it peeking through a little bit here and there, but I also have cream pip berry. So actually when you get back from this a little bit, it kind of blends in really nicely and I'm still tweaking at it and you know, I'm still playing with it. So I kept my hearts hanging on there like I had before. I did switch out. I had a little uh, napkin that I had tied a knot in that I put on the back of the chair there. I took that off. I did remove that and I put one of my little bunny <laughs> blue and white towels on there. And then I just, this is the bunny that I made. And uh, the other one that my lovely subby jody made for me she will go probably over in those rooms somewhere but i did want to put my my bunny here because she kind of blended with this little bunny girl a little bit better so that is one of my bunnies that i used to make and no i don't do tutorials for them any longer you guys <laughs> i really burned myself out when i did those but that is one you can see the patches in her ears and her little lace around her pantaloons and her little headband and I made everything that you see there except for the eyes of course I didn't make the eyes but I did embroider the nose and mouth and I sewed the eyes on <laughs> made her dress made her body made everything so but then I did go downstairs and retrieve these two sisal bunnies out of my bin those are the two of the only ones I did get a couple more that I found in the bottom of a spring bin but these are two that I had not pulled out. Uh, so I put them there. And then this little bunny came from, uh, I believe, Dottie's Den, which is a local craft store over off of. So I did not purchase one thing new for this entire vignette this year. Not one thing. Yay. <laughs> But I love it. I love it. And at night, it's so pretty, you guys. It is so pretty. I'll show you a picture here of it, just this part of it at night. It looks so pretty. But that is the cozy corner. And it blends in nicely with the rest of the front of the, of this part of the house, this end of the decor. Some of you have been asking if I'm going to add any Easter into my staircase uh, garland, and I am not, you guys. If I could find more of that egg garland, I absolutely would. If I could find enough to go in with that and do the uh, 
pastel lights? I absolutely would. But you guys, I can't find any more of that garland, that egg garland. Trust me, I have searched everywhere and can't find it anywhere. So the stair garland will stand just like that and I think it blends beautifully and I really don't need to do anything with it. I think it's beautiful as is, classic and pretty. I did set a little bunny here in the pool nose though. <laughs> Every bunny welcome. And then the Boyd's Bear family, they're sitting there ready to take a ride up the steps because that's where they're stored, up there in a closet. <laughs> so that finishes that end of the room. And next up will probably be, I'll uh, reveal the ivy table. I uh, didn't do a lot over there, but I'll probably reveal that. And I'll talk to you more. Let's go over here and I'm going to skip. Alrighty, you guys, here I am in front of the camera, so let me just say, hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And I've got a little bit to share with you today. Oh my goodness, I got two surprises in the mail on Saturday that I wanna show you. Two gifts from lovely ladies. Oh my goodness, I was so surprised. I've got a, a ribbon haul from Bobby that I'm excited to show you, but I'm gonna wait for that till we get to the end of the video to show you. I'm gonna do a funky bow tutorial with one of the ribbons that she sent to me that I wanna tell you about, so stick around for that. Uh, but I'm gonna start with a little bit of a haul here. Uh, and it's just from uh, today, I ran into and that. And the reason I ran in there is I was looking for some of that egg garland, the, the gold, kind of lame, gold, whatever you want to call that, gold tipped, gold covered, whatever, egg garland. I remember I had gotten that from Hobby Lobby, but you guys, it's been two or maybe even three years. I think they had it two years running. I also think I got it from um, AC Moore, which is no longer open. But sometimes, and that will get like last year's merchandise in. So I thought I would go in there and check and see. Well, they didn't have any of the egg garland. I may have enough to spatter it about the rest of the house. I have one gar lit garland left that I think I'm gonna put on the big hutch. And other than that, it's just gonna be here and there, touches here and there, because I don't have a lot of it left over. And I've even taken apart a couple of uh, like bow toppers and stuff like that. Just, I've, I've been, I've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm telling you with this stuff. I love that egg garland. I think it is stunning. So I really want to use it for this side of the house at the very least. And then I might have to go back down to my coffers and get other eggs to use on the front side of the house. But if I can cover the back side of the house with that egg, the egg garland I just showed you, I'll be happy. Anyway, so I went in there looking for a garland. Well, I didn't find any, but I did find just a couple of little, like I need more bunnies, but I found just a couple of more that I just, I could resist. And uh, this is one little thing. Look at the little mama bunny kissing the little baby bunny. Isn't she cute? So I did pick her up. I just, what can I say, y'all? I'm, I'm terrible. I am, I'm just, I love bunnies. I think they're so cute. And I don't see why I can't leave bunnies up a little bit after Easter. Now, the Easter, Easter, Easter Eve bunnies, of course, I'll put away. But, I mean, for, you know, the spring months, why not? Why not leave the bunnies in, the pl in place that don't look like they're calling Easter eggs, you know? But this little bunny, this little bunny holding a little bunny girl with a little bing flower, why not, right? So cute. So, I got her. Then I got these two little dudes. Oh, she was $7.99. And then these two little dudes were $4.99. Look at them. Cute, huh? Just the blue and white. And when I see it, I pick it up, y'all. When I see it, I pick it up. So they were, they're just like particle board. They're nothing special by any stretch of the imagination. So, but I did get two. And I don't know where they're land. You'll see them. <laughs> so somewhere. And then one more thing. And I don't buy a lot of stuffed stuffed bunnies anymore. I just don't buy a lot. But look at this little Mr. Mister with his little blue and white 
beaded legs and his little blue vest. I couldn't resist him, so I did buy him, and he was, does that say $6.99? Yes, $6.99. How cute. So cute. So I did get him. Uh, so Chris and I ran over to TJ Maxx in Culpepper, uh, and I ran in there just because I was looking for a couple more bunnies for my ivy table. I did find a couple that I will show you when I reveal my ivy table. Uh, but I found this fella, and I just couldn't resist because look at this. Look. Now, how much do you think this cost me, you guys? How much? $40, $30, $25, it'd be a, you know, pretty good deal. No, I spent, what does that say? <laughs> I spent, after all that, wait, and let me tell you, because I can't see, $16.99, I think. Yes, $16.99, y'all. $16.99 for this. I fell in love with this bunny. And guess where this bunny's gonna go? And I promise you, I will bring you my no bowl this week. That's where this little guy's gonna go, big guy, big guy. He's gonna go in my dough bowl. And I don't know what else I'll put in it, if much else, but we will put together the dough bowl with this little fella. Is that not gonna be cute, you guys? Oh my word, I love him. So I couldn't resist, could not resist that fella. So that is going to, he is going in my dough bowl. All right. Now I do have some questions too. So I don't know whether I'll be able to get to, I might get to one or two today. I don't think I have that many, but because I'm doing a, a bow tutorial in this one, it's always, you know, it always takes me a little longer. And my, my videos have been right around 45 minutes, which I know is long for some of you guys, but uh, they've been about that for the last couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm sorry about them. What's going on with my earring there? What's going on with that? Do you know how old these earrings are y'all? 30 years old, every bit of it. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> and the necklace itself is five years old, four or five years old. I used to wear this all the time when I first started my channel. Anyway, all right, let me share these couple of gifts with you. Uh, the first one is from, you all have seen her, her comment before. Her name is Bonnie. And she's actually, uh, I've known her for a long time on Facebook is where I first met Bonnie. Yeah. I don't know if that would be okay. But she sent me a lovely, lovely card with a beautiful message inside. Absolutely beautiful message inside. And then look, she found these two little blue bunnies. From Hobby Lobby, I don't have these in my Hobby Lobby, you guys. I do not. Look, one sitting up and one laying down, aren't they cute? <laughs> so cute. I love them. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bonnie. I love them and you know they will get put to good use, girlfriend. I'm looking here at this tray. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've got so much going through my head, you guys, that I don't know where things are going to land yet. <laughs> but I love them, Bonnie. Thank you. Mwah! Thank you so, so much. Oh. And then here came, these came from different mail carriers, I guess, because this one came after the bunnies. And this one came from Karina Healy from Ireland. All the way from Ireland, you guys. Oh, my word. Huh? And she said, Dear Arlene and Chris, I hope you don't mind, but I put together a little thank you box. I enjoy your videos so very much, and I just wanted to show some appreciation for all of your hard work. Your channel has been such a comfort to me as I have been ill for a while. I look forward to taking a break out of my day to watch your videos. You are truly gifted, and your Final words are such a comfort to hear. Your family are truly beautiful and Maverick is such a blessing. I hope you can visit Ireland sometime and I would love to meet you in person. I live with my husband and my two boys who are 17 and 14 years old. We are farmers here in County Kerry. <laughs> 
I love home decorating and we built our house in 2001. I don't mind if you want to share this on your channel as I love looking at all of your special gift. Kind regards, Karina Healy from Ireland. And the card says this comes with appreciation to say thank you. Thank you so much, Karina. Oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? And then she sent me a little grab bag of stuff here, y'all. Oh my goodness. First of all was, y'all know I like this Innis. Uh, this is a sachet. Mm, and it will go in one of my drawers. Oh, it smells. If y'all have never smelled this, it is oh, it's so fresh. And this is sea mineral soap. It is so fresh and lovely. They have it wrapped up, so. I wish I could smell, wish we had, yeah, smell a tube. Oh, but I love this stuff. Other than my, you know, I always wear happy with Clinique. And this is a similar fresh smell like that, you know? And this is just, it smells like the beach. It smells like you're at the beach and it's fresh and it's, you know, it's lovely. I love it. So thank you so much. I love this. Then she sent me some <laughs> milk chocolate truffles. Mmm, yum. Love me some milk chocolate. <laughs> Soft and refined milk chocolate truffle infused with Magdagasun vanilla. Oh, should I try one? I'm on a diet, you guys. I've been really good. But should I try one for Karina? Yes. Yes, I, I think I should. I think I should. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I can get them open. Okay. Oh, I smell them. Oh, they don't come pre... Oh, look. Oh. Mm, they're just little. I can have one, huh? Mmm. Oh my word. Mmm. They're delicious. Oh my goodness. I'll have one of those a day. We'll have a little treat, right? So good. So, so good. Then, two plates. Two blue and white plates, aren't they pretty? And they are Queens by Churchill, made in England. Microwave and dishwasher safe. So pretty. Love those. And it's the box that keeps giving, you guys, I'm telling you. A couple of little white plates. So pretty. That would look like a beautiful background. I don't know whether this is what you were thinking, Karina, but wouldn't that be pretty? Glue those two together. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or this could just stand alone. It's so pretty. Look at the design on it. It's pretty. So those are just lovely. Extra resistant. They do. They feel really sturdy. Really, really, really sturdy. Love those. This is a little sugar bowl to match the blue plates. Look. It's got a lid. Would that be pretty in a two-tier tray? Oh my goodness, in a tray design. Just anything, anything would be beautiful. Love it. A bookmark from Killarney. Hopefully I got that right. County Kerry in Ireland. Look at that. Keep your face toward the sun and the shadows will fall behind you. I love that. And then <laughs> a friend is someone who reaches for your hand and touches your heart. Oh, and you have done that, Miss Karina. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I love it. Thank you so much, Karina. That's it. I think that's everything in the box. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for thinking of both of us. I'll share the, well, I might share the truffles with Chris. <laughs> of course I will. Of course I will. And uh, thank you so much. You've touched my heart. You've got me everything that 
that I could ever, ever desire. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you so, so much. Uh, again, you guys are so good to me. Oh my goodness. And I am so grateful and, and appreciative. I don't want anybody to ever think that I'm not appreciative. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do Bobby's haul right now. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the funky bow first. Uh, funky bow tutorial first before I show you the rest of the ribbon because Bobby wanted me to let you know that this one ribbon this one so cute little black and white buffalo check bunny with the carrots isn't that cute she has what did she say 36 rolls of it she says I have 36 rolls of it so I wanted to let you, she didn't say how much they were a roll, but uh, her rolls are running anywhere from between four and six dollars for a roll. I don't know how much, I don't know how much the roll would be. Six, four, four and seven dollars, I would say. A roll for t 10 yards, for 10 yards. So if you're at all interested in this ribbon, hit her up for some of this because she's got tons of it. 36 rolls. That's a lot. 36 rolls. So anyway, let me turn my camera. I thought I would go ahead and make a very quick funky bow to do a funky bow tutorial and show you how I would use this. Now, I wanted to show you another piece of ribbon or another roll of ribbon that I also got. And I thought this would be cute to make a funky bow out of, you know, with it. I got some of this kind of diagonal buffalo plaid. But you know what I decided to do? I decided to go, I have some uh, black and white buffalo check here, and I decided to mix it with the buffalo check. I think that's going to be stunning. So let me turn my camera, and we're going to do a very quick, at least I'm going to get us started on a funky bow. I may not do the whole funky bow on, on camera, but I'm going to get it so that you know what to do. That way, I have time to answer your questions, and I have time to go through the rest of this ribbon. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So as you can see here, I wanted to tell you this. I got this from Amazon and it's like 50 yards, but it's not the best ribbon, but you know, in a pinch, it works. I'm sure Bobby has beautiful Buffalo check on her channel, uh, which is probably much better quality than this. But for this purpose, I'm using that because that's all I have. Uh, and then here of course is the, is the ribbon. So what I have here is I have five strips of each ribbon cut at 22 inches long. And I have one strip of just the bunny ribbon back here that I'm gonna use for two tails. So what we're gonna do is make a 10 loop funky bow. And I'm gonna get us started by picking up the first strip of this pretty bunny ribbon. And I'm gonna measure out about five and a half, five and three quarters inch loop and then we're going to go to the back tail and we're going to twist so that at least right now the bunnies are, are facing forward. I am not going to worry about making sure that the bunnies are sitting up or, or going down. They're going to be upside down sometimes and they're going to be right, some, right side up other times and that doesn't bother me. You just know it's bunnies. Okay, so I'm going to go to the second strip. I'm going to flatten it out, fold it in half, and then flatten it out and go to about five and three quarters on the measuring stick. And I'm going to accordion it in there side by side by side. See that? Don't put it underneath and don't pile it on top. Pile it in side by side by side. And eventually the ribbon is going to want to, you know, go down into the crook of your finger and that's okay. If it does that, let it allow it to slip down in there. So there we go. There's the first two loops of our 10 loop funky bow. Five and three quarters. Turn the ribbon this time the other direction, down from center. Center being my thumb, this thumb. And then fluff that out and go back into that back tail and twist. So that is our pattern. We're gonna go, I always set up a pattern with my funky bows. And when I use two different patterns of ribbon is when I do two up 
to down, to up, to down, all the way through the bow. So there you can see I've got the first two going up. This is the pattern going through the pattern. Bunny, bunny, buffalo, check. Bunny, buffalo, check, down. And now I'm going to go up. The next two will go up. Then the next two will go down and so on. I'm going to go ahead and finish adding in the loops and I'll be right back in just a second. But you can see that I'm just adding the loops in and then I'll be back when it's time to add the tail. All right, be right back. Okie dokie, here we go. There's all 10 loops added in. Sorry about that. Oh goodness, hopefully that was somewhat in the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And now here we come. Now this is a place where I care about what direction the bunnies are traveling. Now if I would add this ribbon in, just folded it completely in half, this is just a, a length of about 35 inches of ribbon. If I would add it in just like this, which is the way I would do it if it was just the buffalo check and just add it in and that would be our two tails. But the problem is, look, one of the tails, on one of the tails, the bunnies would be hopping upside down. Well, I don't want that to be the case. So what I wanna do is cut this in half and I'm actually gonna turn, I would have this cut before my bow, but I was trying to make a point with you guys doing the tutorial. <laughs> cut that before you make your bow. So what I'm gonna do is add one end going this direction and then I'm gonna turn it and add this one in coming this direction. And that way, the tails are gonna be hanging correctly. See that? All right. So now grab your pipe cleaner, go to the, about the center of your pipe cleaner and lay it across your bow. Pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Use this hand as resistance and pull tight and get these fingers up as close as you can to the back of the bow. Wrap that hand around and squeeze and twist, 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 twist the bow, twist the pipe cleaner, make it tight. Because the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to fluff, fluff, fluff each and every loop. You want to get your hand in every loop, make it big and flouncy and beautiful, and go all the way around the bow and make sure you look underneath and you find all of your loops. And if your tails are flying up in there a little bit, that's okay. Let them go. Let them, let them go where they will because it makes for a really full bow. You can always cut your tails down if they're too long, if you feel like they're too long. Uh, that's one thing, a start a funky bow with the lengths a little bit longer. So if, you know, you're, uh, you don't want your, you'd rather have too long a tails than too short, you know? Okay, and there we go. With a beautiful 10 loop funky bow made out of this gorgeous bunny ribbon that Bobby sent me so that I could tell you guys about it. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful bow, beautiful. Y'all can do this. Y'all can do these funky bows. They're just, they're so much fun and Never be afraid to mess with them and to twist those tails. Get them going in the way you want, to, want them to go. There we go with a 10 loop funky bow, which is not one of the ones in my bow 101 series. So there we go. 10 loop funky bow using two different ribbons. Super pretty. Look how thick it is. Isn't that pretty? That's why I say get your hands in each loop. Make the make each loop big. And that's why I always say too to use wired 
wired ribbon for funky bows, for any bow, really. I like them to be wired. But that is a stunning little bow. And I think because of the orange, I think I'm gonna hang this maybe in my mudroom or something to go with those curtains. I love that, or somewhere in my laundry room. I'm not using a lot of orange, but I think this is so cute with carrots, somewhere with carrots maybe. Hmm. Anyway, that is for another day, but I love it so much. So please consider getting a roll of this ribbon from Bobby that she has tons of. <laughs> All right, all right, let me pull the box over here. Let me put you guys back in front of me here. Y'all already saw this. Again, this is, I don't even think I even mentioned, this is from Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. Oh my goodness sakes. That is her sticker there, perpetualribbons.com. She's my favorite ribbon lady ever. She's got beautiful ribbon. She's got superb customer service. She's so sweet to talk to. You all will love her. She interacts with you. You will love her. You will love her. So I got one roll of this. She says she's got 14 of these in stock. She doesn't tell me that on all of them, but she did tell me she has 14 of these in stock. And this was $3.95, I believe. Let's go through the rest of this. I don't even know why I purchased this, you guys, because I just think this is just stunning. And I just, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. But I bought some pink kind of gingham with like a rickrack almost, kind of closer together gingham running through it. It is so pretty. That is so pretty. I don't know whether you can see through that or not. Let me see. No, you can't see through that. That's solid. Isn't that pretty though? I just think that is so pretty. And then I bought me some uh, glitter, <laughs> which is super pretty. I just thought that was so pretty. Then I got me some of this, which is super pretty too. Now, wouldn't that make a pretty funky bow? Or if you wanted to do three colors. Ah, oh, so pretty. Then, got me just a stripe. Purple, blue, and pink, and white. Again, I don't really have any, any idea where I'm doing, using any of this, but I know there are times when I go for pink ribbon or I go from diff for different colors of ribbon and I just wanted to get some different colors in my coffers, you know? So this floral, isn't that pretty? That one, 10 yards. And got me some red. I love this. This is my go-to in the fall and in, the, in Christmas. And um, especially outside, I love to use this like for a wreath outside. This would be really pretty outside of my red front door but that's really pretty I love this then this is similar to this only it's got uh this is kind of a kind of a khaki color where this is more of a cream but I thought it was pretty ten yards. then I got this this is 10 yards you really can't see this let me isn't that pretty look at that oh my goodness that's so pretty and this, and this is only one and a half. All of those were two and a half inches, which is what I love to make my bows out of is two and a half inch ribbon. Uh, this one is one and a half. And I have no earthly idea where I'm gonna use these, but I fell in love with them. And I don't even know whether I'll use them this year. Probably not because I'm, I'm not going this direction, but I am sure that there will come a time when I will use this. Look. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? And then I got the peach to go with. This is, peach has always been one of my favorite colors. I had a bathroom done in peach. So I love it one time. So that is it. I spent a chunk of change with Bobby, I did, but she gives me so much that I wanted to give back. So I picked myself up some stuff to, you know, to fill up my coffers. So do consider so, giving Bobby a visit over there at perpetualribbons.com. Take a peek and see what she has to offer over there and order yourself up some ribbon if you need some. <laughs>
I'm a ribbon hoarder. I know I am. I admit it. I need help. I need help. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I love ribbon. Absolutely love it. I love making bows. I love making things pretty with ribbons. So anyway, remember you can always use these on gifts. Make yourself funky bows to give away as gifts. Make them for your church pews, girls. If those of you in church for a special occasion, Easter, you know, make, you know, the first three, uh, you know, for the wedding, for a wedding. Uh, the first, like, a couple of pews, make big funky bows for the ends of them. Sky's the limit, you guys. Sky's the limit. So, but anyway, I love Bobby over there at PetrolRibbons.com. I very rarely buy my ribbon from any stores anymore because her customer service is so good. And she gets it to you as soon as she can. As soon as she can. Now, she does get busy, you guys. She is a human being. And she's only her and her sister right there now working. And her sister is a broken ankle that she's dealing with just have surgery and all that so you know let's give them some grace for sure huh <laughs> they but they work hard both of them both of them work so hard so thank you bobby uh for sending me that that ribbon and i hope that you know you guys enjoyed learning how to make a funky bow out of that pretty ribbon that made a really pretty funky bow didn't it it really did all right, let me grab my computer because I do have information to give you about. Okay, first thing I wanted to uh, let you know about was the Tiny Bird Vintage Craft Etsy shop, which is where I got the two pretty blue and white birds that I put in this arrangement that I made the other day. The other day when I did that arrangement, she did not have any in stock. So I reached out to her and she ended up commenting on that video and I pinned her comment. I don't know whether if any of you saw it or not, but I, and I also, I had said in the description at first that she didn't have any in stock, but to keep looking and she had other pretty stuff. Well, I've changed that now to give the link to bunnies that are available now. The two bunnies like I have, she has more in stock and they are available now. So I wanted to be sure to tell you that. That was, sorry, I was the text coming in. I wanted to be sure to tell you that. Uh, lovely lady to talk to. Her name is Deidre. And she said, thanks, Arlene. I, you know, this is how she answered me back in, you know, when she was, uh, when we were chatting through Etsy. Thanks, Arlene. I'm Deidre from Tiny Bird Vintage Craft. I love how you use my bunnies here in your beautiful home. I think this is actually, this is her comment. I am a huge fan of Bloom White as well. These bunnies are available again, if anyone is interested. Thanks for the support. So I have a link for you that I will put down in the description of this uh, video too, if you are interested in going over and supporting this little lady on Etsy. You know how I like to support small businesses at Etsy shops and things like that. I think it's important, you know, especially in this day and age, you guys, especially in this day and age to support the small businesses who have all been struggling. Everybody has been struggling, you know? So I did want to mention that to you. Thank you, Deidre. Thank you so much for, for, you know, working so hard to get more of your bunnies in stock. They're beautiful. I love them. And I've really been enjoying them in my, in my tray design. So I love them. So thank you so much, Deidre. And it's nice to meet you, honey. It's nice to meet you. So, okay, let me see how many questions do I have. I only have two questions, so I think I can get two, through two questions, huh? Okay, number one is from Christy B. Hi, Erlen, everything looks so beautiful. I love it. I have a question for you. I have collected quite a few bird cages and not sure how to decorate them. Would you be able to do a video on how to decorate some pretty bird cages and what to put in them? Thank you. I love you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. Kurt. Christy, yes, Christy. Uh, I do believe I have one birdcage that's sitting out in the garage. It's black that I've never used. So I would imagine that, yes, I could certainly do something like that for you in the future. I'm not sure if it will go with my Easter stuff, although it would be cute to put a bunny in, you know, in a, in a birdcage. If I can figure out where to put it, <laughs> then yes, I'll do that for you, Christy. I promise. But yeah, sure, I would love to do that. Thank you for that question. Okay, and number two is from Penny Santana. Uh, your mantle is absolutely beautiful. The night view is stunning. And I would be sitting and watching the mantle and forgot I had the TV on. I have definitely done that. That's terrible to say, but I really have. It is it is really stunning at night, you guys. And I, I don't mean that it's because it's my stuff, 
but it's it was a combination of me, Chris, and Stacy all all working together in you know in unison, and we came up, you know, well, Stacy didn't come up with the design, of course, but she came up with the beautiful, you know, uh, beautiful wow. frame, floating frame, you know, that that is center stage up there and makes it. I think it's beautiful. Uh, the egg garland is so pretty to blend the gold in with it too. And I wish I could find more of that, dang it. Uh, your tray is also very pretty with the new bunnies you picked up. Yes, the purifier does do wonders. We love ours too. I do have a question. Are you going to put some touches of Easter on your garland on the stairs this year? See, I didn't realize this was this question. I knew somebody had asked me and I didn't realize that I had, had, uh, had, had pulled it off. As always, please be safe and God bless you and your family. Oh, it's Penny. I did not realize that was your question, honey. I'm sorry. But I've already answered that at the beginning of the video. No, I probably will not be putting Easter, you know, anything Easter in the garland. As I said, if I could find more of that egg garland, a lot more of it. I would need a lot more of it <laughs> to do the staircase. Wouldn't that be beautiful, though? Wouldn't that be beautiful to add that egg garland in with pastel lights coming down those steps? Oh, that would be stunning. But I didn't think of it when I could when I had access to the garland. So no, this year I'm not going to be doing that. Dang gum it. But maybe in years ahead they'll come back out with that garland. I can't find it anywhere though. I've searched and searched, y'all. If anybody comes across it, let me know. <laughs> not that I'm gonna buy enough to go on the staircase. Probably not this year, but I would sure like, you know, some more of it if we could find it. Also, one more thing I wanted to mention, I did my nails over the weekend with another color street. I had broken, I don't know whether y'all noticed this last week, I'd broken this nail a couple weeks ago down to the quick. And it, I don't know how I did it or I, I must've hit it on something, but anyway, I broke my pinky, so excuse my pinky. But I did uh, do another set and they are, this is called Coral Bay. And I will link my consultant down in the, uh, description box if any of you would like to give this try give these color street nails a try I highly recommend them uh, the last set the first set lasted two weeks because I was trying to make it go for two weeks this the my set la my heart set lasted a week only because it was Valentine's Day and I wanted to uh, I wanted to change it after Valentine's Day and then my last one it lasted over a week and I could have gone another week easy but I just wanted to change because I like change you know so and I used uh, only half of, of what came in the package. So I have another half of the package left to do another manicure like this. So I highly recommend these. Aren't that pretty like the ombre uh, look? I just think is so pretty, you know? And I didn't put any uh, top coat on it yet. I didn't, and I haven't bought any of the strips, the clear strips yet, uh, but I'll put a top coat on it tonight and every other night, probably, while I have them on. I wanted to show you that. Excuse my hair. It's in my eyes. I know. <laughs> it's raining out, and my hair went bloop when I walked outside. Some of your hair probably goes bloop. Mine goes bloop. Forget it. Flat. There we go. Whatever curl is now like a barely a wave. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Uh, but I think that is it, my dear friends, for this one. So that'll be it. I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow. I might do every other day this week because we're working through our Easter. Uh, but I will definitely be back with the Ivy Table this week. And I will definitely be back with the Dough Bowl this week for sure. And I'm not sure what else. So we're just going to take it one day at a time. I'm not going to sing. One day at a time. Yes, I will. Sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. Da 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 da. What did I ever do? I need to look up the words. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. I don't know the words anymore. Da 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a cornball. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. That's it for this one. So let me close it out. And I hope I didn't go too much over 45. Hopefully I went under 45 minutes. <laughs> but let me go into my final words and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. 
And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. Chris and I go on Thursday for our second Moderna shot. Whoop, whoop. So say a prayer for us. <laughs> but with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. God help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. I started too high. Love you guys.